how do we replace our header up here when the mobile menu is open? So let's just take a look at what that looks like. So right now I got my white logo up here. This is whatever logo you have. But as we open up the mobile menu, the background of the mobile menu is white, and so it's kind of disappearing my logo here. It doesn't really look very good. So today I want to show you a little CSS snippet of how we can change the background, how we can switch out our logos specifically when our mobile menu is open. So let's jump into that. First things first, we don't really want to jump to code if we don't have to. Uh, we want to use whatever tools are available within Squarespace. It's a lot easier for us to manage. It's a lot easier for us to hand off to clients and tell them uh, we will eventually need code to make this work. Uh, but first, let me show you a solution you might not be aware of uh, just right within Squarespace. So if you hit edit, we can go to our site styles. Uh, and actually, I'm going to get out of this first and I'm going to open up the mobile menu here and then go to edit and then go to site styles. And you see already now we have a different background color. This kind of seems like a glitch within Squarespace, to be honest. Um, but if you go to colors, um, this it's saying lightest one. That's actually not really true. I can't close this. My first section is actually this dark section right here. Uh, and so if you click into that section, you can find the, the menu overlay and change the background of the menu overlay. So you can see a lot of weird, oh, you, so this is another weird thing about Squarespace. You click into this and then it brings you to the first lightest one. So you gotta be sure to readjust that again. There we go, now we're on the dark one and you scroll down menu overlay. So this is the background color. So you could adjust the background color there. You have to make sure you're in the right theme and there's just a lot of moving parts. And then even if you are, as you can see, this is done. Let's, let me show you, I, I've saved that, but now over here on a live site, let's refresh the page. Let's make it small, let's pull this. And that color didn't pull through. So there's some weird stuff happening with Squarespace. Ultimately, it might be better for us to change our logo entirely. So let's jump into doing that. I have a quick tutorial um, over on my website. All you need to do, grab this code. We're gonna paste this into our CSS area. So I'm gonna hit copy right here. Uh, I'm in my design custom CSS area and just paste that in right there. There's only one other thing we need to do. I need to replace my logo. So this is just an image file that I've added up in here. What you wanna do is get the inverse of this image. And for me, this is the black text of the Myers. Uh, the colors are still the same. Uh, and that's just the inverse of my logo. So I'm gonna upload that down into manage custom files. I'm gonna hit that button, upload. Uh, and I got it right here, logo dark. So you see that's just the inverse. I'm gonna upload that. Uh, that just should upload pretty quickly. And then scroll in the code we just pasted in this background image area, in this URL between parentheses, put your cursor right between the parentheses, hit manage custom file and click on the logo you just uploaded. It will add the, the URL for that image in between there. And th now it'll sort of put it right up in here. Now as I open, it switches out the logo. So the way this code is working, we're targeting our header element uh, and then adding in the logo using a, a pseudo element, using this after. And then this class, header menu open, gets added to the body of our HTML whenever the menu is open. And so we're just turning on the opacity of this background image. So if you're curious about the code, that's how this works. Um, this is a great little tutorial, great little thing. I've used this on a number, of great, great little code snippet. I hope the tutorial's great, we'll see. Um, but I've used this on a number of websites. I hope you enjoy this. Let me know if you have any other questions. Um, have a great day. Hope you're doing well.